hunger strike and you know all the fights about food i feel like if we work together that won't happen this week and i've given everyone maximum respect and support i would also like you guys to like give me maximum respect and support so that we can win this wager and make sure the house is in one piece hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel all right guys so for the first time this season we see the fact that a female has emerged to the head of house okay um, we've had a dickley we've had kid wire we had ek's reign last week that was quite turbulent and right now mercy has emerged to the head of house of course herself and doing he made it to the finale after the year decided that he wasn't going to play the final round with them now, this morning, Mercy, you know, I like the fact that she woke up with energy, wanting to, you know, hit the ground running. So she called all the housemates. I think she understands the fact that a lot of housemates were tired yesterday from the whole nomination, from the head of house challenge that was quite, you know, um, tasking in terms of the energy you're going to put into it. And it's just allowed everybody to go chill and slip. So this morning, she called the house and says, you know what? She wants their support. She's giving everybody who's been the head of the house maximum support. And she wants that in return. She wants maximum support for this season. And I think that Mercy is going to actually do well because she can be ladylike and she can be very firm. And that's something I love about her. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is the twists and turns and the betrayals that happened during the, um, the nominations or the, the part of me yesterday. So yesterday we saw Inebai and Cross in the restroom. Now, remember that Cross had already said that himself and Inebai, you know, it's, he doesn't take Inebai serious in terms of being in a relationship with her. He told Doi, you know, he told, you know, Inebai, Inebai also saw the fact that CC and Cross were probably having a thing. So now, in Cross's team that has Pere, you know, Soma, Neo, Ptolemy Barge, and all of that, I think they wanted to save Ptolemy Barge, okay? So I think that the team had agreed that, you know what, the person we're going to save is Tolan Baj, right? Now, what happened was this. He now called the Levi into the restroom. And while he was calling Levi into the restroom, while they were talking, we, we saw Venita listening to what they were saying, right? She was in the other restroom. So apparently, here was Cross trying to talk to Levi, who he has jilted, who he has said he doesn't want to have anything to do, who he has left alone in terms of having a relationship, right? That he wants hard to please save Ptolemy Badge, to nominate Ptolemy Badge for pardon, to pardon Ptolemy Badge for the pardon me session. Wait, I can't remember. Me, 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 I'm going to free. You're always leaving me. I'm sure you're always leaving me. I need you. Now, Ulebai acted like, you know, she had, she had heard what he said, he even pulled hard to kiss her, you know, they shared a few kisses in the restroom. V, I mean, what's her name? Venita was on the other side of the restroom listening to what they were saying. Now, Cross was trying to bring Washer, saying that, you know what, I know that, you know, you're going to need me in this house. I mean, I need you right now. I need to come through for me and all of that. When it was time for the pardon me nominations, guess what? Anybody went there. And of course, she saved Doni. She went inside and saved Doni. When Doni got there, I mean, Doni also went to save Ileba. And I liked the fact that these girls are beginning to see the fact that this is a game. I feel like, you know, I thought Ileba was going to succumb to pressure. You know, with Cross saying that, you know what, I, I don't want you to slime me and all of that. This girl went and stood her ground and, of course, she pardoned Doi. Yes, Doi. Now, we could see the dynamic that played out between Neo and, of course, you know, Ptolemy Barge. See, Ptolemy Barge went in and saved Neo Energy. I mean, there's always she calls Neo Energy for me. I think that Ptolemy Barge has a very pure heart towards Neo. She wants to be with him and all of that. But Neo said he's not staying in one place. This guy, he doesn't want to be in a ship. He said it. He doesn't want to be attached to any ship. So here's Ptolemy Barge going into the diary room to pardon Neo. And Neo goes into that diary room and pardons the girl he shared his first kiss with, according to what I saw online. I mean, he pardoned Ile Bagi. But earlier that these housemates know that this is a game, the better for them. Because you see White Money also advice and cross the guy. You can't be gullible. This is a game. When you're acting like you're opening your mind to everybody, they're going to play you. So don't be stupid. It's a game. Play this game. What do you want to do? Put it inside. But guess what? When you get there, do what you want to do. One thing I liked about Angel was the fact that she went in and she pardoned him because it was the decision of the whole group, their carcass, that they were going to pardon him, regardless of the fact that Soma was there. Now, for Soma, he was pardoning Adekule. You know, I think that, you know, 
um, uh, what's her name? Doing had already said it to his face that after they check out somebody, the next thing they want to check out is, you know, um, Soma and all of that. So, rightly and then, you know, we sort of ironically also pardoned Doe. And all that. And I think that in this particular time right now, a lot of people are beginning to stay woke. They are coming to the awakening of the fact that 120 million is no joke. Like, I was impressed yesterday for the first time watching Big Brother over the years. I see the fact that people are scheming you know they're trying to put structures in place to check out people and i'm beginning to wonder what what will happen when it's now these people that are scheming that are left on the house they will now start scheming against themselves yesterday we saw the fact that someone had a panic attack and i'm wondering this guy should calm down every time you know you are for possible eviction you begin to rant I mean, you can't be crying like a baby. This is the first time I'm having an opinion on most of the issues in the house. You know, I don't usually have opinions. But this, I know Soma personally. This is not somebody you have to introduce to me. I know Soma personally, right? It's my guy. We used to, like, live in the same estate, you know? And I say that, you know, I, I feel like he should man up. He needs to come into a point where, see, it's a game. If you step out, make use of the time you've done in the house and come in and use to improve on your career. When you get outside of the house, look at Europe. Europe has started posting wigs and posting outfits and blah, 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 and telling you to buy a meal plan. That is what you're supposed to do. See, one person is going to win. It might be you, it might not be you. Sometimes, don't even deceive yourself. When you look at the whole house, it's Big Brother. It's not, it's not um, a, 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 a permutation that you, can, that you cannot understand. When you look at the likes of Mercy, White Money, you see the likes of Angel, Alex, CC. When you get there, be sure, know that you might not necessarily win this. Thing because these guys, first off, they have a higher fan base than you. You know, they have traction more than you. No matter what you're trying to push, this person has traction more than you. The guy that has the highest traction in the house is White Money. Yes, the girl that has a high structure in the house is Mercy. When you look at the next set of people, you're looking at, um, you know, what's what's her name again? Um, CC, you're looking at Alex, you're looking at these people have traction. So don't be crying. If you're up for possible eviction, leave. It's, whether you leave now or you leave in week nine, you're still going to leave at the end of the day if you don't win. That's if there's no dynamic that plays out that supports you. Because I understand that in Big Brother, a dynamic can play out and guess what? You win the show. But as it stands right now, you should stop crying and try to... I, I was watching it yesterday, and I think that Angel tried to pacify him. For the first time, I saw Angel in a very motherly kind of space, trying to you know calm him down and let him know that see, it's just a game. Do what you want to do in your mind. And she was asking him, okay, what do you feel like doing? What do you want to say? I just want to bring something. Why are you behaving like a kid? Can we sit down? <laughs> Finally, matches, we saw the fact that, you know, Big Brother had to para for CC because CC was tearing for Big Brother, right? Um, Big Brother gave her a punishment, a seven daily by to paint, you know, 400 pages of letters and all of that. And here we see the fact that Big Brother asked herself, Suma and of course Cross, who were in the same team to play for the head of house game, to go into the arena to play. And guess what? Suma got in there first. It felt like they were wasting time, CC and Cross. And Big Brother took them out of the game. And here you could see CC parrying for Big Brother. You know, after the whole nomination process yesterday, Big Brother played the videos of the microphone infringement. And then, of course, the fact that CC was staring for him. And that was quite disrespectful, I think, no matter what. You don't insult Big Brother. You know, I feel like it's C finish that causes that, you know. And then, you know, she was trying to power for Big Brother and all of that. And Big Brother said, you know, trust me, another punishment is going to come for that. I think that people should calm down. You can be under pressure. I understand the fact that in the house, no TV, no phone, no internet. All you deal with is no car. You know, it's just your clothes, the people you see every day, and nothing more, right? The only time you have time to watch TV is if your brother decides to play something for you or you want to do your shopping, right? And so that was what Big Brother did to her yesterday. He cautioned her, cautioned the housemaid, and said, moving forward, any infringement, punishments, they come. Punishment is coming. So the housemaid should get ready. And that's it on this video. Please go to the comment section and let me know what you think. Do you think Levi is gradually waking up? What do you think Levi should do more in the house? What's your advice to Suma? You know, I feel like he's also kind of done in Angel's game. You think you should leave in general or you just should leave him alone and focus on her game. And let me know what you also think about the fact that, you know, CC was spying for Big Brother yesterday. Please go to the comment section let me know what you think. What do you also think about Mercy's reign for this week? How do you think it's going to play out? Please let me know what you think. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at the Femi Daniel. Until next time, I come over again very soon. It's bye for now. <laughs>